A Washington State Department of Transportation worker from Pasco was killed early Saturday morning while on the job near Sela after she was struck by a young woman suspected of driving under the influence. CAPKVU's Ellie Nakamoto White spoke to Bonnie Stewart's family and friends earlier today and shares their plea to drivers. I usually stop every day when I'm on the way to work. See her. I dropped some food for her that Friday. Friday, the day before 51-year-old Bonnie Stewart was hit and killed while working as a highway flagger and the last time Susan would see her daughter. I bring her food and she says, that's good, Mom. Thank you. I love you. Susan was woken by the police the following day, alerting her that Bonnie had been in an accident. I was sleeping. When the cop come, it's 5.30 in the morning. Now all they're left with is their memories. She was a good mother. She was a daughter. She was an aunt. She was a friend. She was everything to everybody. Alicia, Bonnie's best friend of nearly 30 years, says she was cooking breakfast when she heard the news. I hit my knees and I screamed, my Bonnie's dead. One split second changed so many lives forever. Now they're asking for drivers to learn from this tragedy and to follow the rules of the road. You're in your car. They're on the road. Slow down. Give them a break. They're just doing their job. You make a choice to drive while you're drinking. And my, my friend is dead because of a poor choice. Before they drink, before they do anything, they need to think about it. Put the key away. <laughs> Don't get in the car to take somebody away like my daughter for me. In Pasco, Ellie Nakamoto White, Cap KVU, Local News. Family and friends say they will remember Bonnie as an amazing mother and person with a kindred spirit and a heart of gold who would do anything for anybody. A GoFundMe site has been set up to help Bonnie's family with funeral expenses. Currently has raised just over $1,000. We have a link posted on our website, yaktrynews.com.